Akron, Ohio, once home to thriving industry and urban development, experienced success like no other city. And now the city's dishonorable past has come back to haunt its present, as the area grapples with the endangerment of what some consider its most prized piece of history, the blimp. When entrepreneurs realized the value of blimp skin for tire rubber, as well as the beast's rich caviar potential, the blimp was hunted to near extinction. The blimp caviar was to die for. We had so much, we fed it to our felines. I tell you what, ain't no tree made rubber as good as them blimp skins. Okay, you guys, seriously? Shh. Okay, sorry. They're sleeping right now. This is a really controlled environment. They are very delicate at this point. We need to keep the noise to a minimum, okay? To be perfectly honest with you, we don't even have time for this. See, look, there's already one up. Okay, this is what can't happen. Right now, we're currently caring for about a dozen or so, um, most of them with very demanding schedules. This one's mom was shot outside a bowl game in Arizona. Yeah, the fans had a little too much to drink and shot her right out of the sky. Luckily, we were able to save the baby. Okay, you know, you know, really, honestly, I think that the lights and everything are really starting to bother her. This one's still missing a few letters on the side. You should see when they hit puberty and they grow their first bioluminescent sign. Oh my God, it is absolutely beautiful. Some people look around and see rocks, marbles. I look around and see life. The sky was filled with these beautiful beasts that flew from horizon to horizon. And I'm hoping to God that one day we can prevent the destruction of the blimps. Ekron's unique geological terrain, a valley surrounded by large flat areas, is perfect for a blimp. Similar to salmon, the blimps go out to lead a full life of parades and football games. But they return home to Akron to mate, and then eventually retire after hundreds of trips. They're also expert at filtering out carbon dioxide, making it an ideal source of rubber, and unfortunately propagating the problem we face today. What people think are marbles down here in the ground, they're really uh, fossilized blimp eggs from a time of abundance. The blimps once laid their eggs through this whole valley that runs from Akron to Cleveland. Well, the main concentration of, of these was in what's now downtown Akron. The eggs, they incubate for three years before they hatch. And around here, they stay submerged in the fresh waters of the Cuyahoga River. The buzzards that used to come here from Hinkley, they used to devour the blimp eggs just like this one here because back then they were both a delicacy for humans and animals alike. Hey, get off my property the now. person over there bother me? <laughs> Hardly. I've been chained to trees. I've been beat up in protests in Washington, D.C. Uh, I've been on more FBI lists than I can even imagine. No, he didn't bother me. My great-grandfather, Melvin P. Sniglet, had a vision for this city. Let me tell you, it did not involve blimps. They're unwieldy, dull, and they block the blue skies from the sun. Why would anyone like something that defies the sun? Do I believe my great-grandfather had a personal vendetta against blimps because of his fear of heights? No. He was a visionary. He developed the city's first one-story multiplex office building. Has a blimp ever done anything like that? That's what I thought. What do you want me to say? Blimps ain't good hunting? They are. You think they don't come in your home and eat your youngins? Cause they do. Rubber lovers come in here and steal our jobs. I'm right to shoot one of them. You know, I got to make a living too. What the hell you want me to do, hunt deer? Shit. Man, them blimps you see out there, they're an abomination to the Lord. You mean to tell me some people hold them like babies in their house? That's just sick. Hey, you get off my property now! The fact that they call us the rubber city is completely disgusting. That is exactly what got us into this mess in the first place. God, here we are honoring all the people who killed them. We should be honoring the blimps that died. Actually, most recently, we've uh, petitioned the mayor of Akron to change the name from Akron to Acros Orcus de Air, and that's Latin, and it means um, Akron, whale of the air. The struggle of ideologies continues, and the city wrestles with this uncertain future. But the blimp will live to fly another day.
Bunch of God's creatures of man. It's time for you to get off their property. The crane population in the valley has adapted to the loss of blimp eggs by foraging for fish instead. I don't care. Sell it. Make me some money. No, no. Make it happen. Good luck, I'll shoot your ass. So, you know, what's a blimp mean to you? Blimp means to me, dead. I shoot him when I see him. I don't screw around. Why do you hate him so much? <laughs> I hate him, my daddy hates him, my great-granddaddy hates him, and my great-great-great-granddaddy hates him, and I sure as hell ain't gonna like him or have him in my city. Okay, alright, enough. Really, you need to be done now. You need to go now. Enough. Thank you. Well,